everybody doing? Good. New week. Ready to roll. That counts as an opening statement. That's right. Every week will be a new week. Um, what do you see from their quarterback, kind of an experienced guy who was a big time recruit? What do you see from him? Boy, I tell you, I've been impressed with him. Uh, we've been watching film all morning long, and uh, he's a big guy. He's strong. He runs well. Uh, he, he throws the ball accurately. Um, he puts the ball in places normally where only their guys can go get it. And uh, he's a playmaker. He can uh, make people miss and pass rush and buy himself a little extra time to either uh, locate people open down the field or just try to move the chains uh, by, by running far enough to get first downs. But uh, he's definitely what makes their offense tick and I think is a real good player. Jay, on your defensive line, guys like uh, Wellington Prevalon, Ellen Lou Moore got in there for the first time. H how did they stand out on film for you? What did you see from them? Well, specifically with those two guys, I thought they played well. Um, you know, Will had a couple of disruptions in the pass game uh, with a tip pass and, uh, and another pressure that uh, may not have shown up quite as uh, as obviously uh, because he, he more or less hit the quarterback, you know, kind of right right in the chest when he was trying to release the ball and, and it forced a, a short throw. Uh, so he had a couple of really good disruptions in the pass game and um, Ellum did a good job all the way around. Uh, he played played significant number of snaps and um, I think uh, performed well for his first time out. So happy with uh, where both those guys are right now. Jay, you guys were getting good pressure on uh, Browning, but uh, they, they seemed to I don't know if there was an I guess that was an adjustment they made. They started going to some some wheel routes to the running backs and hit you a couple times on that. Is that something you feel like you have to to work on going forward? Or do you think that maybe was something just specific to them? Well, I think you know certainly our offense does it too. Uh, they're they're looking for matchups and um, you know two two specific examples that I can think of. Um, one, we we just busted the coverage of the guy that was supposed to be on the back. Uh, just didn't didn't cover him. It just yeah, on the touchdown, he just blew the assignment. Uh, the other time, um, you know, they wheeled back down the sideline. I thought Trevor Morris had excellent coverage on the guy and really made a great strip attempt. But uh, it was just a perfect throw and catch. And sometimes that happens. So, uh, but but those things are going to come up. Um, that that's uh, typical of what offenses like to do. So uh, we we've been working on it. We'll continue to work on it. Defense. I know that was something that you, you, you stressed. Did mm -hmm. you see the improvement that you wanted? And then I guess looking ahead, number five for Eastern Michigan, Shaq Van, is he present a different challenge? Uh, actually, um, you know, personnel-wise, uh, you know, we're probably not going to see a greater collective set of skill, maybe than what we saw Friday night. Uh, and that's not to slight, uh, you know, anyone we play, Eastern or any of the other teams that are coming up down the road. Um, so uh, hopefully you know, we, we've uh, stood the test from that perspective uh, to, to see how we stack up against the teams that have that, that elite kind of skill. Um, but from the standpoint of this week with Eastern and uh, the comparison to um, you know Washington, I think there's a lot of similarities in the run game. Um, two back, one back, uh, the, the types of plays that they run. Uh, powers and counters and zone plays and things like that. So uh, there, there's going to be a lot of uh, similarities uh, in our preparation as far as the types of plays that we have to defend. Um, certainly from the standpoint of uh, how, how we perform with run defense, uh, I was happy with the majority of it, but the, the, the part that I uh, wasn't happy with was uh, what happened in the third quarter when we started to get tempoed a little bit. And they came out in a couple of unbalanced sets and we didn't get lined up like we were supposed to. Um, and if you could fix those problems, uh, what, what was a really good outing would have been a great outing from the standpoint of rushing defense. So um, every play matters. Uh, you can't discount tempo. You can't discount uh, quirky formations. You got to be able to line up and play every down. And so once we can do that, hopefully um, that consistency will be there and we'll feel good about the whole, the whole thing instead of just a part of it. Saquon Hampton back completely healthy to start the season. What does he bring to the defense, and what are your thoughts on his initial play? Well, he played great. Uh, he was a defensive player of the game for us. Um, I think he played fantastic. He was 
productive. He was sound. He was where he was supposed to be. Uh, he did a good job with communication. He did all the things that you look for out of quality safety play. Um, you know, hopefully we can keep him healthy because I think he's poised to have a really good year. And he certainly got a good first start, um, you know, coming out of the blocks here for this season. So if he continues to play like that, we'll be really happy. He's done well.